Testamentary capacity refers to a person's capacity to enter a valid will. To have testamentary capacity, a testator must generally satisfy an age requirement and be of sound mind. In In Ray Honigman's Will, we explore a type of capacity defect, namely insane delusions. After almost 40 years of happy marriage, Frank Honigman became obsessed with the idea that his wife, Florence Honigman, was being unfaithful. Frank, who was in failing health, frequently and publicly shared his belief with friends and strangers. He alluded to unlikely scenarios, claiming that he heard men running through the couple's house and that Florence had hid male suitors and hauled men up from the street to a bedroom window using sheets. Frank remained a rational thinker on all other topics. One month before his death, Frank executed a new will. It essentially cut Florence off, leaving her only lifetime use of her statutorily mandated half-interest in Frank's estate, plus $2,500. The other half-interest went directly to Frank's relatives, with the same relatives to receive the principal of Florence's life interest after her death. When the will was subsequently submitted for probate, Florence contested. She argued that the will was invalid because Frank was influenced by an insane delusion. But Frank's relatives countered that the will merely reflected Frank's desire to provide for less fortunate relatives. The trial court jury agreed with Florence, and the court therefore denied probate. But the appellate division reversed. Florence then appealed to the New York Court of Appeals, the state's highest court. 